Dana Munson was a beautiful woman, inside and out. Her local community loved her, albeit a bit concerned for her safety. One woman in particular, who at one point rented from Donna, claimed she was a sweet lady. She just loved nature. She probably shouldn't have been alone out there in her state. All the more reason as to why it was such a tragedy when the bears dragged her away by her scathed skull in what would turn out to be one of the most horrific bear attacks and devourings in modern history. What's up guys? Iceman here. So this story is about a very unfortunate woman who I think gave just a bit too much to the bears. It's shocking to me how many people think that they can just feed the bears or cuddle with the bears and everything will be okay. It was only a few weeks ago when I saw a video on Facebook about some lady who was feeding the bears in her backyard and I couldn't help but wonder if or when something might happen. But nonetheless, I appreciate you guys for coming by. And if you will, like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the page, and hit the bell so you're notified next time I post a video, and become a channel member or a patron. Links in the description below. So let's get into this horrific story. You're such a cute little bear. Donna would whisper to the small cubs, only a few yards away from their hulking and protective, but for the moment, hesitantly trusting mother. I love you. Donna gloated as she reached out and gently touched the cautious young cub's nose. People who knew Donna said she was an eccentric wildlife lover who had been feeding bears, elk, skunks, and raccoons for years. She would stock her secluded backyard with dog food, fruit, and yogurt. In Colorado, it is against the law to intentionally feed bears or leave food or trash out that can attract them. This law is in place to prevent bears from becoming too comfortable around humans and to reduce the risk of bear-human conflicts. Feeding bears can lead them to become habituated to human food and trash, which can cause them to lose their natural fear of humans and become more aggressive. This can result in property damage, injuries, and even death for both bears and humans. To avoid attracting bears, it is important to properly store food and trash in bear-resistant containers, keep a clean campsite, and follow all bear safety guidelines. If you encounter a bear, it is important to keep a safe distance and never approach or feed it. What a nice little cub you are, Donna would say, gleeing over the hesitant but curious animal. She'd reach out and pet it through the fence she devised, which was surrounding her porch, ineffectively acting as a safeguard between her and the bears she invited into her yard. The cub pulled away, giving a slight huff, almost a warning, as Donna continued to fawn over the concerned creature. Black bears are an iconic species of the Western United States, and in Colorado, they are the state's only species of bear. The animals are fascinating creatures that have captured the hearts and imaginations of people around the world. In Colorado, black bears can be found in a wide range of habitats, including forests, mountains, and riparian areas. They are omnivorous, meaning they eat both plants and animals. Their diet consists of vegetation, berries, insects, small mammals, and occasionally carrion. They are excellent climbers and can easily scale trees to reach food sources such as nuts and fruits. One of the most interesting aspects of black bears in Colorado is their behavior. They are primarily solitary animals, although they gather in large numbers in areas with abundant food sources. They are active during the day and night, with peaks of activity occurring at dawn and dusk. During the winter, Black bears go into a state of torpor where their metabolic rate slows down and they sleep for extended periods. Unfortunately, black bears in Colorado face many threats, including habitat loss, human disturbance, and conflicts with humans. In recent years, 
There have been several instances of black bears entering residential areas in search of food, which has led to increased concerns about human-bear conflicts. It is important for people to take measures to reduce the likelihood of these conflicts, such as securing garbage and other food sources, and being aware of bear behavior when hiking or camping in bear country. Despite these challenges, black bears in Colorado continue to be a beloved and important species. They play a vital role in their ecosystem by dispersing seeds, regulating small mammal populations, and providing food for scavengers. But like all wild animals, they can be dangerous and at times, deadly. Many of Donna's neighbors in the area would complain about the rising number of bears, seemingly becoming less concerned of humans, rummaging through trash cans in the wooded neighborhoods, and even trying to break into houses. Even still, after all the warnings, Donna continued feeding them through the metal fence she devised on her porch. Colorado Division of Wildlife Agents asked Donna so many times over the past decade to stop feeding bears that she quit taking their phone calls or accepting their certified letters and tried to ban them from her property. When the time came, she wanted to go out with the bears. An undisclosed renter said of Donna, Little is understood of the exact details that led to Donna's death on that dark and mysterious day, but it is heavily speculated that a mischievous Bruin managed to get a hold of Donna's arm through the fence, pulling her partly through it, bringing the fence off its bearings, allowing the animal to hustle around it onto Donna's porch. As she lay there with her arm in ruin, bloodied and battered, and shocked over the matter that such a precious, cute, cuddly animal that she was feeding nonetheless could commit such an atrocity toward her. The bear dragged her away, the woman moaning in horror with her last helpless breaths of life, leaving behind a trail of thick blood and urine, painting the sorrowful picture of despair on the very ground of what was once her sound and peaceful backyard, filled with the sounds of birds. But for the first time, the birds stopped chirping as the bears began feasting. Donna's body was found mutilated 30 yards from her house. Investigators hypothesized that several bears were involved in the devouring of her corpse. Only parts of her were left, and it required DNA testing to identify the body, as nearly her entire head was missing from the scene. Jeez, what do you guys think about that heinous tale? Well, it's not a tale, in fact, it was true, and you guys can look it up if you want. If only it were a tale, because what happened to this poor oblivious woman was quite chilling. You know, I can't help but have some sympathy for people like her as they start to age and maybe enter a state of dementia or whatever. I think they start to become just too trusty with things around them. Generally, family and things of that sort might start to push them away, so they begin finding bonds with the little things around them, including animals. And it seems that this lady found a bond with the bears. I don't know how many times I've seen videos of people throwing food out for bears in their backyard or whatever. And of course, the crazy thing about it is it trains the bears to rummage around people's property, and they begin to lose their fear of humans, setting up the situation where some subtle nuance occurs and their instinct kicks in, and they'll kill you, or worse. But yeah, man, it's hideous what happened to this poor lady, and it pains me to bring this out to you guys, but again, this stuff is important to know and to consider and take notes on. How vulnerable we can be as human beings and how things aren't always as they seem. I look forward to going up north in Michigan probably this coming year and I would love to see some bears, but I know to keep my distance from them. And you guys can bet your tails that Iceman will be packing a little hand cannon in his pocket at the least. But let me know what you guys think about this story. What do you think could have been done to prevent this situation? And do you pity this woman? Or do you think she got what she had coming? 
It's unfortunate that the reality is she really put her neighbors at risk as well, but perhaps she could just claim insanity on the matter. But again, comment below your thoughts, like this video if you will, subscribe to the page, and stay tuned for more chilling tales from the Iceman.